On the 6th of June 1944, with the help of over 195,000 Allied naval and merchant navy personnel and more than 5,000 ships, 160,000 troops were landed on the beaches of Normandy in a single day. One British military historian described this achievement as a painstaking and brilliantly successful exercise in operational predetermination. However, such a brilliantly successful achievement did not happen by accident, and instrumental to the success was the top-secret Green List, updated weekly, which if it had fallen into enemy hands would have provided the blueprint for Operation Neptune and spelt disaster for D-Day. Not only did the Green List show all landing ships, craft and barges with locations for Operation Neptune, including those featured in the film at the secret base on the River Hamble called HMS Cricket, but the state and forecast additions to landing ships and craft at home and abroad. A US supplement was also issued. In all, 24 convoys sailed before or on D-Day for the main assault, with the immediate follow-up to arrive by D-Day plus three, and a daily schedule of eight convoys per day was planned with 38 escort groups, each made up of destroyers, frigates, corvettes and trawlers, to protect these movements. But of course, the success of Operation Neptune depended on the continual shuttle of troops in LCTs and landing craft infantry, the type of which are shown in the film sailing to and fro in unnumbered convoys. To coordinate these movements in late February, Admiral Ramsey issued a naval plan called a Green List, printed weekly in the months beforehand, giving details of landing ships, craft and barges, as well as berths across the south coast, which were secret at the time and still rare to see published today. In the film, we can see troops maintaining the landing craft at Bates Wharf boatyard just below Bursledon Bridge, with the railway bridge in the background. The film also shows landing craft assembling at the Upper Hamble Country Park, now called Manor Farm, with troops on the way to Normandy, embarking at the same landing stage still used today.